Hey guys, this is Reggie. Holy hell, what a day today. Today was extremely stressful, hella busy, and shit kept breaking uh, at work and at home. So basically, power outage for like two or three seconds at home. I know, I need a UPC, I know. But uh, caused my home server to crash. Well, not crash, but I have a power outage, you know. So that caused my uh, sessions to kind of have some problems. Uh, so I couldn't log into the home server. I had to wait for the wifey to come home. I had, a, had to tell her what to do to troubleshoot. Thank you, wifey, for being techie enough to understand. Actually, she's not techie, but she was uh, calm enough to understand what I was telling her because of her the systems up and running. Yes, all my porn is safe. Just kidding. Not really. Uh, but yeah, so that was that was super stressful, man. Holy crap, that's like goddamn smart. I don't even know why there was an outage. It just randomly went out. Uh, when I get home, I still gotta do some cleanup on things on my NAS. Um, I have to do some cleanup too, but yeah, that's busy, busy too. I didn't really do a uh, video yesterday because I was off work and I was babysitting, kiddo sitting, whatever you want to call it, my son because they have spring break. Um, I wish... I wish work would get spring break, but uh, no, we, uh, we have to use PTO, so there's no such thing as spring break. But yeah, that was cool. My son is actually, he's seven by the way, Jake, um, so he is actually pretty good at Overwatch. Uh, he, he plays better than me. Um, he knows how to aim and everything else uh, and shoot, and he did pretty good. He, he was getting one of those high scores and part of those MVPs. So that was pretty interesting. I was proud and sad at the same time. Seven-year-old doing better than me. What the hell has gone wrong with this damn world where the seven-year-olds are playing better than adults? God, that's so depressing and sad. But one thing I want to talk about. So we are now in the process, wifey and I. Uh, I should call it wifey sauce. Sounds better. Anyway, uh, we are in the process of uh, selling our minivan, a swagger wagon. To get a uh, another vehicle, um, it's wife just doesn't like it. So my wife, me personally, I'm not an SUV guy, not even a truck guy. But my wife clearly is not an SUV big guy, uh, person or a minivan. So um, unfortunately, we do need to sell the minivan to so that one less item to worry about. We want something more practical. Minivan at the time was something we thought we would need, but clearly we don't. Um, an SUV is something we will we'll probably need. So she started looking at the SUVs and she keeps going back and forth about it, blah, blah, blah. Pricing is all over the place and what we can afford. And I told her, I'm like, we have to get something we can afford, you know, not something else. So she found something that we can afford. She found uh, a good one too. But she's not really into SUVs. So my question to her was, why are we getting it? Yeah, it's something that we would benefit from being SUV, but if she's gonna hate it for the rest of the, the life of the vehicle, what's the point? It's kind of like the minivan, right? Why why buy it? So I kind of talked her into looking for a car that she wants, like literally, that she wants. Not something that she thinks is uh, practical and all that BS, just something that she wants so that she's happy with the car, and we can move on. And she is definitely an Infinity chick. She loves the Infinity Gs of the past and the Qs of today and future. So we have found it, and um, we are we got a good value for uh, our minivan. We haven't sold it yet, but we've got a good uh, uh, value for it from uh, a dealership, CarMax. Uh, I know, I know. But anyway, so we're gonna go over there. So we know where to sell it. We're not gonna do private because I just don't have time. I'm gonna be making about 2K max more private, but just the hassle of it, and nobody has that type of money just laying around. I don't have time for that. So CarMax it is. Now, here's the thing. We went to CarMax yesterday, right? The one that's close to us. Customer service, complete shit. Like, complete shit, man. The guy who was supposed to help us, right? He called me up. He said, oh, yeah, make sure you ask for my name and my name only, you know, uh, and I will take care of you. I don't know how he'll take care of me because, like, they don't 
they don't lower prices so I don't know like are you gonna throw something in or something or whatever anyway so he was gonna take care of me so we walked in we told him the time we we're gonna be there I text him uh, and the guy who's at the front counter paged him no reply 30 minutes later I'm like what the fuck man can we get somebody to help us so they, they put me into the system and I'm getting already annoyed uh, so I called the guy on the cell right, that he gave me and guess what he had already left for the day well thanks dumbass like fucking if you don't know how to do be customer service oriented don't get a job that relates to customer service I know you want that commission or whatever they call it but fuck man like do you realize that you wasted our time like I was so annoyed idiots like this who have zero customer service should not be working at a customer service oriented job Yes, I know you want to go home. Shit, I'm going home too right now. But the point is that let the person know you will be leaving at whatever time. So I don't go in thinking, oh, this fool's going to be here. Let me just go ahead and meet up with him. If you would have just told me, you know, hey, I'll be leaving at 6.30, but you can ask for me and they'll know what to do, I would have been like, cool, I'll make sure you get the credit that you deserve and move on. But nope. So irritated on that and then we go check out the infinity uh, i think it was a g25 it was all right i mean the outside was good but the inside man yeah, it was total trash so we're not gonna get that one um but the other guy that came in his place just random guy from carmax who helped us out flipped us around like i went from irritated annoyed to man this is a great service you have can you teach this idiot how to be into how to have a great customer service now that guy was apologizing for it i'm like why man you didn't do anything wrong. In fact, you did the opposite of what you did. You actually made this customer be pleased to come in, you know? So, I really hope, like, CarMax, if you're watching, like, pay attention to people like this, right? Um, if you have money hungry or less non-trained staff, th this is what happens. People get annoyed. I, I was so annoyed that I would have gladly gone to a dealership and paid more money to get the same vehicle than stayed at CarMax and got it. So you would have lost a lot of awesome customer. And, I'm, and I have been a customer of CarMax. I've gone to CarMax a few times. So that was really frustrating. So tomorrow I'll be going to Roseville uh, uh, CarMax and check it out to see if that one has a G that I can you know, look into or not. I'm hoping we find a good one, you know, so the wife is happy. Happy wife, happy life. That way we get rid of the minivan, we get the G that she wants, and we can be happy for a little while until she decides to buy something else, which she will, which she will. So yeah, so that was my experience yesterday. Fucking annoying, it's annoying as hell, pardon my language, but it was, it was so annoying. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I mean, <sighs> this car mix that I went into, went to, it's kind of in the ghetto. I'll I'll say that. So it makes sense that I would say people there had no customer service at all. It makes sense. I know it's messed up for me to say, but it's the truth, right? I mean, it is. Now the the other place on car banks that I go to, it's in a very nice neighborhood. So it makes sense that they have great customer service, right? So. I don't know if uh, do companies just give up when they open a location or local open up a store at a location that is how it is like if Best Buy opens one on one of the ghettoest cities there is are they automatically just gonna give up and say ask hey, screw it this place is gonna be shit hell anyway so we'll just leave people to be how they are versus if they open up in a really high end rich people kind of a Best Buy then they're gonna trade the hell out of it that's how I see it. A lot of stores, chains that I've been to in the high end and the low end of cities, I notice that's how it usually is. They're um, same store, night and day difference of service, customer service, customer service, treatment, everything else. So that's kind of messed up because that's not how it should be. You know, if, if you're a good company and you want to keep your customers, you should kind of train your uh, employees. But I mean, if they're you can't change a person, in my opinion, right? I mean, if they're going to be idiots, they're going to be idiots. Uh, they can try, but deep down, that's how it is. So, so yeah, that is my wonderful, wonderful experience. I don't want to keep talking about it because I'm already getting irritated. And hopefully going to the gym will kind of calm me down. But it's leg day and I hate leg days.
I freaking hate leg days so much. Oh my god. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope. Actually, yeah. Well, what do you? What do you guys? What's your experience at CarMax? What do you guys? Do you, do, have you guys always had a good experience? Have you guys had the same type of experience where uh, you go to a store that has a chain and you go to a high-end neighborhood, you know, and a ghetto-ass neighborhood? Do you notice the same type of treatment, or is it different? Uh, do you notice anybody giving a damn, or no? Let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.